Hi, I'm Virginia Kay at, here at Seven Pines Elementary School. This is my fabulous third grade class, and we will be learning a math lesson today. All right, are we ready? First, we are going to review our fraction um, question from the morning. If you could get out your math journal and flip to the question that you completed this morning. All right. Who could read me the question? All right, Tristan, read us the question. Mariana. Perfect. So who can tell me how many equal parts we had? Beta? Four. Four equal parts. And Zaria, how many did she eat? She ate one, she ate one fourth of the cracker and one two. Good. And how did you show that on your paper? Um, so, so these, there are four equal green crackers. If you take this, she eats this one. Zaria, can you come show us on the board how you split the graham cracker up? And then show me the piece that Mariana ate. You can use the white uh, the white marker. Okay. So let's split the graham cracker first. Let's split it into four equal parts because it's kind of hard to see in the picture. Okay. All right. And then how much did she eat? So she ate this one. Okay. Can we label it with an M for her name? Okay. So she ate this one and she gave this one to a friend. Can we label that with an F? There we go. Perfect. She gave this one. Perfect. Can you write that fraction for me on there? If you agree and you have the same thing written on your paper, put your finger on your nose. Good. Put your finger or hand on your head if you showed your thinking. Awesome. Fabulous. Good. Um, question, what is this two right here on, can I see this really fast? Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate your work. Who can tell me what that two means on top? Taylor? It's the number of pieces, um, pieces shaded in. The piece, of, well this one, is it the pieces shaded in? The cracker that's left, right? Because we wanted to know how many pieces were left. So two pieces left. And Melody, what is the four? What is our denominator? What does that mean? The whole cracker. The whole cracker. So Sadie, if I asked you what was the fraction of the whole cracker, what would the fraction be? Four fourths. Four fourths would equal one whole. But we had two pieces. They're gone. They're gone. All right. Here's what I'd like you to do. I would like your math journal put away. And then we're going to play a game to start our review of everything we've learned this year. All right. I have directions up here, but I'm going to tell you the directions because they're a little bit different than what you're going to see. We are going to be playing trash ball. I, I know. you got to find your inner basketball player and get ready. Okay? Yes, ma'am. I'm going to tell you exactly how to play. Again, there's some directions right here, but I'm going to tell you the directions on my own because they're a little bit different than what you'll see. Yes. I'm going to tell you when I get to those directions. I promise. I promise. All right. I'm going to split you into four teams. In your four teams, I am going to number you one through four. 
So each team will have a number one, each team will have a number two, and so on. You are going to work together with your team to solve all 10 problems. Does anybody know how many quarters there are in basketball? Owen? Four. four quarters. We're going to be doing this for the next four days. Okay? Four quarters, four days. First quarter, I'm going to put you on your team. You're going to work together as a team. I want to see collaboration. I want to see you working together. Maybe you know the answer. Maybe your partner is a little confused and you can help them. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for y'all working together, helping one another, one another. Then at the end, when the timer is up, I'm going to call the twos or the threes. And the twos or the threes or whoever I call are going to bring their papers up and come show your answer. You're going to get points for the correct answer. You're also going to get points if you've shown your work. We've been working on showing our work, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We are going to save up those points. I'm going to keep point. I'm going to keep tallies up here. And at the end of the game, your team will get to come up, shoot the trash can ball, it's a piece of balled up paper, into the trash can, and try to get as many points as you can for your team. Okay. Here's what I would like to see. I would like to see you working together. I would like you to see you helping one another. And I would like to see your work. Okay, as much as we can. This will be from quarter one, the beginning of the year. Here's where I need you to move. You're going to need a pencil. And I'm gonna give one person the papers. One, two, three, four, five. Whitney, Marshawn, Ryan, Zalea, and McKenna, can you go back to where Melody and Elliot and Whitney's table is? Bring a chair if you need to from the back table. All right, Tristan, Sadie, Melody, and Lyric come up to Lyric's desks right here. We'll just need one extra chair. Kendall, Veda, Claire, and Owen, you're going to go back to where Kendall and Claire are. And Taylor, Madison, Elliot, and Zaria, you are coming right over here. Bring a pencil. Yes. Madison, just bring your chair. Or Melody, give her the pencil right back there. I'm sorry. We're going to be in the kitchen. We're going to collaborate together. Whitney's group, you will be team. Whitney, give me a color. Um, purple. Okay. Team two, Tristan, give me a color. Blue. Blue. Team three, Kendall, give me a color. Red. And Taylor, give me a color. Magenta. Magenta. Okay. All right. Here is the deal. Whitney, when I say your number, I want you to hold it up with your fingers so you remember your number. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. One. Hold up your number. When I call your number, all the ones are going to come up and show me their work. All the twos would come up and show me their work. All the threes. I'm going to take turns in the teams to show us your work. So you're going to come show me your work so I can give out points. And then I'm going to have one team show us their work on the board. Are there any questions so far? Yes. That's not the question. Okay, well then we're going to hold on to that question, Sweepy. All right, are you ready? Yes. Can we change our name to Cyan? We are going to be purple. Quarter one, ready? Here's our first question. I want you to solve this in box number one. I want you working together with your team talking, communicating, collaborating. Are you ready? 
Write the following number in standard and expanded form. I need you to read the number because if I read it, I give it away. All eyes should be on the board. You don't say you're done. I'm giving everybody about one minute. If you're not sure, who can you ask? Your teammates. If you're not sure, ask your teammates. Marshawn, can you scoot your chair in for me, Susie? All right, so I gave an example of expanded form up here. 43 would be 40 plus 3. This is your number you're working with. This is a lot for expanded form. We have too many digits right here. You take one away. And then remember, when we do expand the form, you can bring that four down, put a whole bunch of zeros. 430,060. This is, this is, this is a question from a very long time ago. That's okay. That's okay. That's why I'm going over it. Okay. We will go over it. Put the zero right here. Zero? You can't forget this zero because it is about 30 well, seconds. Down your last name, too. I can't tell if that's your name or scribbles. <laughs> Could I see my ones? My ones, bring up your paper so I can see what you have. Okay. Red? Are you red? Yes, it is. Okay. Magenta. Okay. And. We're purple. Okay. Uh, I'm missing one team. Tristan, I just need yours. Okay. All right. I would like my magenta team taylor can you come up and write on the board the correct answer and tell us how you got it do the standard voices eyes are up here Put your finger on your nose if this is the number that you wrote down. Okay. Taylor, how did you know, or explain to me how you got all those those digits. So, the 400, I wrote 400, then I added 30, then I put 60, because there's no hundreds. Okay. So, she said there's no hundreds. Did we have a hundreds? We didn't have a hundred. So what do you have to do to hold the place for the hundred? Put a zero. Put a zero. Perfect. So what is something that you could draw on your paper if you were solving this problem? Thank you so much, Taylor. What's something that you could show your work on your paper with? Should have unplugged my phone. Beta. We have our place value chart that we can draw. We have our hundreds, hundred thousands. Our what? What comes next to the hundred thousand? Ten thousand. Thousand. Hundred. Hundred. Tens. I need another place. And then one. And ones. 
What was in the hundred thousands place, Zalea? We had 400. Right here it said 400. What came next, Ryan? 30. 30 what? 30,000. 30,000. And what do we know when we say 1,000? Owen. Make it with your hand. Like show me. Yeah? What is that called, Marshawn? Put that comma. That comma makes us say thousand. thousand. Four hundred and thirty thousand. So we've got the thirty thousand. And then what came last? Sadie? Um there was zero in the hundreds and sixty in the hundreds. Good. Sixty-eight. Now, we did some work with our expanded form. We did have to put that zero. We did ex work with our expanded form. I gave a quick example. Forty three would be forty plus three. When we are doing the expanded form, you are writing what you hear when you say it. So what did we say first? 430,000 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, plus 430,000 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, Plus 60 plus 8. 400,000 plus 30,000 plus 60 plus 8 equals 4,368. Wait, wait, wait. There it is. There it is. 430,068. Good. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the lesson. We have. We glide from side to side. We hop, we glide from side to side. We're respectful, we're responsible. We're resourceful, that's what we do. We hop, we glide from side to side. We hop, we glide from side to side. We're respectful, we're responsible. We're resourceful, and that's what we do.